Hello and welcome to the Paint Bar channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm gonna to teach you how to paint this apple. So, this painting was inspired by my apple picking trip that I went to yesterday with my cousins. It was so much fun and uh, I came home with so many of these awesome apples. I love fall and here in New England, fall is probably the most beautiful time of the year. So, what other way to enjoy fall than to actually paint it and feel like you're in season. So, let's get painting. Alright, to begin, we're going to go over a few of the materials that we'll be using today. Number one is we are going to be using a canvas. So you can use any size canvas for this. This canvas here is 9 by 12 inches. We're also going to be using a palette with paint. We are using a paper plate. You can use any palette that you have, nothing fancy needed. And then I have acrylic paint on there and I have a variety of colors. I've got reds, yellows, a few greens for our leaves. My background's gonna be blue and white, and then I have some black in there to outline everything at the end. I also have some brushes. We have a medium brush or a big brush that you're gonna be using for the background. Then we have the round brush. This is what I am going to be using to fill in my apple. And then we have the baby brush, the itty bitty brush. This one's gonna do all the details. We also have paper towel here for wiping my brush off with. We have a mason jar. You can use any jar you want to hold your water to clean your brush off. Let's begin. To begin, we're gonna outline the shape of the apple. So I'm gonna use my round brush for this. I'm gonna dip it into a light blue color because that's the color that I'm gonna use to paint the background. All right, so I'm gonna take a little dab into my blue and a little dab into my white. The line that I'm making now is just being used to outline the shape of the apple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the top of my canvas, come down approximately a third of the way, and then I'm gonna come up from the bottom about another third, give or take. Now, I'm gonna go from this dot to this dot with a nice C shape. I'm gonna go on the right hand side doing the same thing but with a backward C. I don't love the shape of this apple, so at this point, the best thing to do is really make your line look like the apple that you want. So, I'm gonna take this brush, I'm gonna put it in my water, we're all done with it. And now I'm gonna take out my medium brush and I'm gonna dip it into my blue and my white and I'm gonna give a very textured look to the outside of this apple. So to begin, I'm gonna use a little bit of my blue with a bigger scoop of my white. I am going to make my background pretty textured and I'm just gonna do short little brush strokes all over covering the entire background. If you're painting like this and you start to see the background showing through, that means that you do not have enough paint on your brush. Now my brush stroke is kind of following the shape of my apple. As we do in all of our paintings, we have to make sure that we also wrap the paint around all the edges. So that means you're gonna take your brush and you're just gonna wrap it around each side. So whatever you're doing on the top or the front of the canvas, make sure you do it on the edges of the canvas. I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit, especially because I want it to feel like the apple integrates well with the background. So I'm gonna use just the slightest amount of yellow and I'm gonna actually use my darker yellow here just because it's a nice warm tone. And I'm only using this much. I still have some white on my brush. I'm also gonna scoop up a tiny bit of white so you're not just getting that solid color on your canvas. Now you wanna make sure your paint is wet so that it'll, it'll blend on there pretty easily. All right, just a few brush strokes. You don't want it to take over the whole thing. I'm gonna put more of the yellow on the bottom because the, the apple is kind of resting on it. So it feels like it's an integrated part of the painting and it's not just purely light blue. So the next brush we're gonna use is your round brush. So that's what we use to outline the apple and it has blue on it. So you wanna let it hit the bottom of your cup and really scrub around the bottom of your cup. Tap it off, wipe it off, wipe it on your paper towel. Now we're gonna fill this in. So, an apple appears red, right? However, look at this apple. It has so many different colors. We've got some yellow and green on there. It's got little tiny polka dots. I mean, there are so many colors on it. So I'm gonna start off by painting with mostly my red, but I'm also gonna put in a tiny, tiny bit of my darker yellow. And I'm just gonna begin by outlining the shape of this apple. And remember, apples are not perfect, so do not worry about this being a perfect shape. Ta-da! All right, now we're gonna fill this in. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of my yellow, big soup of red. Now my ultimate plan here is to leave this area a little bit lighter and this area a little bit darker. When I first fill stuff in, I just wanna get my paint on there, and then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add more color. Here we go. 
I'm doing short, quick little brush strokes. To make that even a little tiny bit darker, I'm gonna dip my brush into a tiny bit of my blue. What it'll do is it'll just darken my apple a little bit. Now I'm gonna do a bigger scoop into my yellow, a little bit of red, and up top here, it's kind of, you can see already it's a little bit brighter. So when the paint is really wet, everything can blend together well. I did a little bit of my darker color, and then my lighter color up top, and then I'm just gonna keep working those until the two meet. Nothing is better for highlight than the white. So if you look at one of these apples, for instance, you'll see a little bit of white where the light is shining on these apples. Same effect when you're painting them. Just give them a little bit of a shine. Now I'm gonna put my round brush back into my water. And now I'm gonna take out my baby brush. And this baby brush here is gonna do a little stem. It's also gonna make our leaves. Now, I don't have any brown out here, so I'm gonna actually make my own brown. The way you make brown is by mixing complementary colors. When I mix together I some of my red and a little bit of my green, and you're gonna see right away they're gonna make like a darker red color. Just like a combination of colors. There's no science behind making brown. Just keep mixing until you get the color you like. Get in there. All right, look at that nice brown color we just made. All right, so now I'm gonna make a little stem Stems are not perfectly straight. It's gonna come up and out to the right a little bit. Now the end of the stem is usually a little bit wider because it's broken up from a branch. And then I'm gonna make the stem just a little bit thicker. I'm not being exact about where my white goes. I'm just putting in a little highlight of it. All right, now time for some leaves. So, my favorite part. I'm not gonna wash the, anything off of my brush because I actually want the darker tones to mix in with the green. So I'm gonna start off by dipping into my lighter of the two greens. Take the brush, spin it around, because I wanna have nice bristles. I'm gonna have one leaf going off to the left, one kind of wrapping around the top right. Now let's get that shape going. So I like to start with where I want my leaf to end. So this leaf is a little smaller than this one, so keep that in mind when you're making them. So this one here, I'm gonna draw a nice little curve like that. And the two sides don't need to be perfect. It's nice to have them have a little groove. And now I'm gonna fill it in. I'm gonna throw in some bright yellow on the right hand side of my leaf. So that'll give it a highlight like I have on my apple here. So to add some perspective, I'm gonna bring my stem down into my apple a little bit more. It's gonna come down like this. So it looks like it's growing out of the apple. All right, then I'm gonna use that same brown color and gonna make this a little curved line so it looks like a shadowy area, like that. All right, now I'm gonna add some highlights to my apple. So I'm gonna take my baby brush. I'm gonna start off with some blue. So I'm just gonna come down and I do what I call the plop and pull, which is basically just doing a little highlight to make the other colors pop out and they give this effect of a shadow. I'm now gonna add in a little bit of highlight. So I'm gonna take the baby brush, I'm gonna dip it into both my yellows. If you only have one yellow, it doesn't matter which one, it's just nice to have a brighter color. And like I do with the blue, I'm gonna add it in. I'm gonna to try to aim for my lighter areas. Now I'm gonna spin my brush off. I'm gonna dip it into my white. So think of this just as little dashes, like a little highlight. And that is it. So the last thing you have to do is sign your masterpiece. I like to incorporate my signature into the painting, so rather than just going on the bottom, you can actually make it wrap around the bottom of the apple. So that's it, we are done, voila! Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did painting this apple. We want you to be a part of our creative community. So if you made a painting today, make sure you post it using the hashtag TPBRTSY and tag us at the paint bar. All of our social media links are down below. So if you enjoyed painting with us today, you gotta make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the awesome videos that we have coming up. Like our video and then comment below and let us know what you wanna see next. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope to see you soon. Bye.